This is our uh, speedometer and I want to take a second and show how the LCD menu works. You can see we've got the power on at the speedometer. When you first hook up the speedometer in your car, you've got the sensor wired up to the speedometer correctly. Following the instructions, you've got power wired correctly to the speedometer. Um, the first thing that you need to do is set up the pulses per mile to get the speedometer to read right. And this is done by pressing and holding the button down on the speedometer. This particular speedometer has a button that I plug it in the back. It comes with the speedometer. Press and hold it down for about 10 seconds. This one has an optional peak recall. I continue to hold it through that, that optional feature until finally we get to a calibration menu that will come up and display showing calibration of pulses per mile or fuel level calibration. This one also has fuel level. So I'll select the pulses per mile calibration. So ask to press the button to start. I'll drive to the first mile marker, press the button to start, and then it asks me to drive two miles. And while I drive the car, the speedometer won't register any speed. The needle will stay at zero. And after I've driven past the second mile marker, two mile distance, I'll press and hold the button down to complete the calibration. After that's done, the speedometer will go back to live mode, and now the speedometer should be accurately reading your speed. It's as simple as that to calibrate it. Another option on the speedometer is the fuel level calibration. You saw that menu earlier, and we get to that by pressing and holding the button down for 10 seconds. Enter the calibration menu. It's showing the peak recall, which is the optional feature. Here's our menu again. That's where the pulses per mile was. We're going to select the fuel level calibration. And it's really simple. It asks you for an empty condition or a full condition. Here's the empty. Here's the full. It's a little tank icon. You can set either one. It doesn't matter which one you set first. You have your fuel, fuel level hooked up to the speedometer and, and, and the tank in either one of these conditions. So let's say the tank was empty. I would select empty and say this is empty. And it says low fuel level has been set. And we'd follow the same procedure again to set the full. Once that's done, um, for empty and full conditions of the tank, you can go in in the menu and select whether you want to display fuel level or the trip. Or you can actually change the contrast of the LCD. So if I wanted to show the fuel level, you can see that along the bottom of the speedometer showing the condition of the tank. Right now the tank's empty, so there's, no, there's nothing on the bar there showing the fuel. If we want to go back to showing trip again, press and hold the button down. The little luggage icon denotes trip. Press and hold it again. Now it shows trip again. If we want to zero the trip, press and hold the button down. This icon over here, zero trip. Press and hold. Resets the trip. The trip had zero miles on it, so it showed zero after it was reset. And that's basically the features of the LCD in the speedometer.